I mean, the history of the city traditionally, we split into like four parts. You got the south side, uptown where we at right now. You got the hill side, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the key funk. That's traditionally the four parts. This city's rich. I mean, really rich in the, in the talents and the things that we produce out of here, you know what I mean? And Harrisburg really didn't start becoming predominantly black, like the city, the inner city. And so I want to say like maybe the early 80s, because everything predominantly before then, man, was just like, Harrisburg really was dominated by, you know, Caucasian people, mm -hmm. you know, and blacks really lived on like one certain area. I'm not sure, so I ain't going to try to spit like I know the game on camera, mm -hmm. but we were really condensed to one neighborhood. And I want to say preferably, I want to think it was uptown, you know what I'm saying, in the little parts of the hillside. But, you know, when they introduced public housing and things of that nature to, you know, attract black people in, a lot of people at that time, they took pride in all of that. They knew that that was a step. It wasn't somewhere they wanted to stay. It was like, I need this right now. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to keep it moving. The problem is people fell into it. So the history of Harrisburg now is just like so mangled up. And Like this, but when it's like, I'm here some shit, them niggas take me down. They take their good old time. They want to install that shit. Like, shoot out, call, type of shit, and pop little combo. They come like a whole half hour, 40 minutes later. Like, oh. Well, we in about some money. You know, they, they come. <laughs> yep. That's, That's what that motherfucker, uh, <laughs> people get shot for. Yeah. It's over. They bringing, uh, <laughs> they, they making a curfew. Oh, <laughs> Uh, US Marshall, like a matter of fact, they just had, uh, they got Front Street repaid. Like, don't nobody live on fucking Front Street? <laughs> it took them up for how long, fam, to fix right here? That joint. For my street. For a year. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying, man. Listen, man, our, our money speak values, man. If we can start appreciating that dollar, man. Them motherfuckers start doing it. Look at this. Right. This house has been abandoned since I was like 17. Exactly. It's gonna take for a white motherfucker to come in and take that joint and fix it up for us to be looking right. Huh? They pushing us out our own hood. Yeah, we was talking about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You only got like, uptown only got about this, this much room left. <laughs> this gentrification, man, this is getting real. Mm -hmm. I grew up in uptown, you know what I'm saying, most of my entire life, yo, and they really are building everything up in midtown. They pushing this way, man. We only got like 10 blocks left. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Up, they even changed the signs. Like, I can take you down here, man. The right. signs say old uptown. Right, I seen. <laughs> so they saying out with the old, <laughs> you know, and with the new shit. But niggas is out here like dying over blocks, man. We don't even know. Mm -hmm. Like we really don't have no, you know what I mean, justice for it. Right. So at the end of the day, shit is getting real. And to be honest with you, we not going to feel it. Our youngins are. Mm -hmm. They going to feel it. Because right now our, our school system is struggling. And what's going to happen is, it's gonna keep struggling. They're gonna make it do as worse as it can. And then they're gonna push everybody out. And then when everybody fly back, like everybody who live in the suburbs and the good jobs, they come to the city to live, their kids are gonna benefit off the heartache that you went through, you know what I'm saying, with your children. But if we're telling our kids the only thing they can do is hoop their way, rap their way, throw a football out of their way out of the hood, we've limited in that. Mm -hmm. And everybody's forced to go sit behind a desk and answer a call, you know what I'm saying, and a call center, which is nothing wrong with that. You gotta provide for your family, but we can do so much more. What are our children, what are our babies gonna have? What kind of identity are they gonna have? The only thing they're gonna have is just what's on TV. They're not gonna have, that culture is gonna be gone. Nowadays, man, these niggas ain't got no morals. What? These young niggas ain't got no morals. And you know, they, the, the thing is, these young boys ain't never had no guidance because all the niggas that's supposed to, that they were supposed to look up to was the niggas in my era. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I ain't that old. I'm only 28. But I'm talking about like these young boys that's like 19 and shit. I'm talking about that. You know what I mean? If you 25, 24, you ain't no young boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm talking about, you know, in that age, these teenagers and shit, the niggas that they were supposed to look up to was us. 
what you do when you look, what you do if it's if it's if it's a hundred motherfuckers, you know what I mean? And it's a hundred of these kids. What you do when ninety of these motherfuckers is behind bars? This five can't handle this hundred. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So they run wild. They don't got no direction. You know what I mean? Not saying my era had direction, but my era to think about my era, niggas had heart. These niggas don't got heart. You know what I mean? Like these niggas don't got heart. They 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 shooting first right. and asking last. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of changes going on from political mm -hmm. to educational to just street. Um, I don't agree with all of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, as a citizen of Heversburg, I can't talk it. I gotta walk and I gotta be that change and I gotta find those soldiers, mm -hmm. men and women, boys and girls. You know what I mean? That have the same soul I have, you feel what I'm saying? And it's really trying, not trying, it's really out here making that difference. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the reason why I bring, you know what I mean, children involved, every generation I feel as though points the finger of the younger generations, you know what I mean? We have to highlight those that are doing right, but we focus so much on those that are doing wrong and praise those that are doing wrong. You think I'm saying? Instead of praising those, you know what I mean? That are actually out here doing what you what you're, what you're supposed to do. See why you think that though? Why do I think that? I believe we've been we've been taught that mm -hmm. on some G and on some real. That's one reason why you Listen, wear the hat, man. That's why I, I wear this hat, by. man. Niggas are suckers. That's why, man. Okay. Niggas are not being men. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. I'm just keeping it a beam, man. That's why, man. So at the end of the day, man, it's, it was really it was taught. Everything in our culture was taught to us. We were forced everything, in my opinion. And on some G and the shit we grown organically, man, it's been taken from us. Right. Bottom line is a lot of it is it's niggas that's scared. You understand what I'm saying? Bitch niggas got more bodies than real niggas. Yeah, yeah. Remember that. Hey, you feel like Remember that. You know what I'm saying? Black people as a whole getting weak. Man, we been weak. And and what I say about been weak, man, we do shit. A lot of time, like especially with fame, we do shit just to we we try to su we try to succeed or su or strive to to get one over. That that real nigga shit, man, is dead. It's over, man. Right. That era's gone. <laughs> Y'all niggas had a whole twenty years to jump off the porch and shoot niggas up, beat niggas the fuck up, man. That time's dead now. That's not we don't, we don't need that no more. Mm -hmm. It's real. There's some niggas on here got no choice. They gotta hit a block. They gotta put the package in their pocket. Now, I don't know nothing about that, man, but I pray for them brothers every night. Cause at the end of the day, them niggas try and get out. While these dumb niggas is trying to get in. That's why I can't knock the brothers who talk this street shit all the time. That's where they come from. Say that all they know. That's it. You know what I mean? But if we continue that cycle and letting that happen, man, they gonna keep pushing us out. Hey, y'all come here to the nice area. No violence, no nothing. And they selling that same story to everybody in the hood. So we all think we running from the problem, except we just bringing it out to our new foundation. I was just telling you, I'm saying off camera when we was rapping, mm -hmm. they built a condominium next to a fucking, a mission where homeless people sleep. Mm -hmm. People don't understand what that does. You get something to go so crazy, and I'm talking about just that strip right there, it's nothing but abandoned bars, old nightclubs Ooh. and all shit, so the value goes down. So nobody wants to do it. If somebody comes in and builds a nice condominium, Value goes back up. Everybody who lived there gotta get out. It ain't about that, you know what I mean? For one, you should want to succeed because you wanna succeed. You know what I mean? You want, you want, it's your, it's your, it's your fucking world. But you know, it's like the black people get caught up in. Black people just get caught up too much. Ain't nothing wrong with fighting for your community, but black people fight for their community the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Black people gotta understand, they expecting us. Soon as some shit go down, they expecting us to start killing shit or start or start vandalizing shit. And why must niggas vandalize their <laughs> own city, right. their own hood? Like, what, what type of statement you making? Why would you even want to bring the law in your hood? This shit in society, man, especially the media of us, man, and how we portrayed is just ridiculous. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. There won't be a lot of people who see this and go, ah, oh, man, well, look where y'all living at, or look at y'all neighborhood at this, that, and the third. But yeah. I still take pride in where I come from. We don't run from it. It just goes to show when people get accustomed to a certain way, man, we just stay in it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand somebody can walk out their door and see everything fucked up and smile. Like, I don't think that's a way of life. Like, I think we gotta be doing way better than that, but because we sit so dumbfounded, my nigga, they, they take that with arrogance, man. 
So they just take us for granted. All the time. All the time. Because yeah. we take ourselves for granted. We take our our power for granted. Like we run we run this on some G. Yeah. We we built this country. You know what I mean? And it's it's just not really taught. We're not we're just not educated correctly. How we don't have a pride in itself. It's not taught. And it just goes back to the buffoonery, man. We we're pumped so much buffoonery, man, that is we don't even we don't even wanna open up a book and even learn or go to the right, you know what I mean, uh YouTube links and, and learn anything. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm feeling the I'm feeling fucked up. Yeah. So let me, you know what I mean, get a good laugh in, or mm -hmm. let me see, you know what I mean, where the baddest bitch is, or whatever. Let me get into this fantasy mm -hmm. to, to take me out of what I'm really going through. Yeah. But you know what I mean, when you realize that what you're going through will help you get out, get it will mind. build you up, you know what I mean, and really get you to the place where you need to be. Ain't nothing gonna change, man. We're gonna continue to have the power, but do nothing with it. Like, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't, you can't win with them with violence. They don't, they don't understand. They don't really, they don't really understand that if, if they wanted to, they'd shut the whole city down. Quarantine everybody. If they really wanted to. Like, right. if they really wanted to. Like, you know what I mean? It's too many cameras to be, it's too many cameras around for them to do that. It's too much, they wouldn't be able to do that. But if they really wanted to, they could shut all that shit down. You know what I mean? Niggas don't understand that shit. And they don't understand they making it worse. You're making it worse, you know what I mean? You you making it worse for them to be fucking building concentration camps. You making them want to be like, yes, we gotta, buy, we gotta build some more concentration camps. You know what I mean? Like, them joints is ready for niggas. Like, niggas is so dumb and so blind, they get caught up in everything that goes on. They get caught up in everything that goes on in the media, the industry, blah, blah, blah. Shit, shit's man just failing. And at the end of the day, I don't want to put the finger at anybody, not the government, not a race, not none of that shit. Me personally, I'm tired of doing that because that's all we've been doing. You're right. Blaming everybody for what we go through. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I sit back, we have conversations all the time. And he may not even feel me on this shit right now, but I'm tired of, you know what I mean, doing that. I understand. It was it was it was given to us from a different, you know what I mean, race mm -hmm. and all that. But if we just continue to blame and not take action and fix it. We're gonna, gener generations are gonna continue to go through what the generations in the past went through. Up, shit got? gotta change, man. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rural rap, shit has to change. And the right, the right people, like there's people, there's men with, with, with felonies mm -hmm. that deserve a teacher's position. Well, but they because can't. they got this history, you think I'm saying? They can't really teach a child how not to go down the wrong path. Cause it's not just about, you know what I mean, being book smart. You have to be both. You have to be well balanced in everything. You have to have that street smart and that education smart in order to really succeed in life. And I was going to say, we gotta, we gotta have more pride in where we come from, hmm. even, even the hood, because we're so quick as black people to want to fit in. As soon as we get an ounce of money or opportunity, we run yeah. from where we're from. You know what I'm saying? And history repeats itself every time. So, you know, situations that are, that are taking place now, that was already set up 10, 20 years ago. The sad thing is, fam, believe it or not, the sad thing is a lot of them niggas is running around with niggas that killed one of their family members mm -hmm. or that killed one of their friends. They are riding around, they vandalize this shit with them. Like y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all, you know what I mean? All these pits what type of area it in, but a lot of them be doing that shit. They don't even know the motherfucker that got killed. They just doing it because it's. They just doing it for a cause because everybody else doing it. You well, understand be proud what I'm saying? It. Like, nigga, like that, like that don't. Like, that's some. That's why, they, and that's why they call us niggas. You know what I mean? And that's what the niggas. That's what niggas is. That's what niggas be. Like, fuck it. I mean, that's that's what niggas chose to do. But niggas, that niggas ain't gonna get nowhere. We ain't gonna never get nowhere, cuz. So you don't see no hope in our future? Man, it's hope in our future, man. It's hope in our future. It's just gonna be sad that before the hope, before the change come, a lot of a lot of blood gonna be spilled. That's the it's just the that's the sad part. But but of course this a change gonna come. It's a, everything's a fucking circle. It's gonna get better than get worse again. It's gonna get better than get worse again. It's a fucking circle, life. Same, I mean, we're about the same shit going on in St. Louis, New York. 
right here. Right here. Small, doing, small as fuck, yep. you know what I mean? You ain't never gonna hear about too much going on here. Right. But they were sure quick.